last section, you were sitting there expanding some exponents. We are not going to do that. You may have figured these out. These are exponent rules. Hopefully, uh, maybe you saw them, you recognize them, you know them already. I'm going to show them to you now. These are shortcuts. I'll explain the big, huge bodybuilder there in a second. He's going to be one of our rules. But we're going to start with the product rule here. So let's look at this. Again, this is 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th. Maybe you know this already. It's 2 to the what power? You know, I had you expand them last time, and this is, I did not show you the shortcut. I apologize. I, don't, I hope Mr. Kelly or Mr. Sullivan didn't show you either. When you expand these, it's all multiplication. When you do this, it's really, you expand it so, oh, I can see it's 2 to the 7th. Or what's the rule here? You're really saying is you're going to take these two exponents and add them together. So that's our rule right here. When you multiply exponents with the same base, they both have a base of 2. I can add the exponents. 3 plus 4 is 7. Fantastic. Is there an example of this? Sure, let's do some examples here. Do they have the same base? Sure, the base is 8. What's the rule? If I multiply these, same base, I'm going to add them. This is actually 8 to the 8th. If it's not written here, it's going to be a 1, so that's y to the 1. They have the same base of y. 9 plus 1 is 10. Super. Good. They all have a base of a, so I'm cool here. I can expand all that, but I don't want to expand 10. That'll take me all day. So I'll just say 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 10 is 17. Super cool rule here. Saves us. Again, this is all multiplication. So I used to expand it, so 2 and 3 aren't the same base. I'm just multiplying them. 2 times 3 is what? That is 6. x to the what power? Well, I've got, they're the same base, so I've got 4 plus 5 is 9. So you just go ahead. Only if they're the same base can you add their x. All right. So next one, power rule. That's why I got these bodybuilders. These are power lifters. That's me back in the day when I used to really toss some iron, you know, pick things up, put them back down in the weight room. Pretty great time. Let's talk power rule. So uh, power rule means you have a power to a power, an exponent to an exponent. So you may know this. 2 to the 3rd to the 4th is 2 to some power. Well, last section I made you expand this. You know, 2 to the 3rd is this, and then you raise it to the 4th, so you had to actually show this. I don't want to do that anymore. That was a lot of work. Not like a lot of work, just tedious work. It just got old to do this. But this is it. This is true. I can now count them up. That's 2 to the 3rd, 4 times. Multiply it all together. Count them up. What do you got? You got 12. Is there a shorter way? Maybe you know. Sure. It's 3 times 4. So when you have a power to a power, what are you doing? That's right. You're multiplying. You're saying power to power, 3 times 4 is 12. Jot that down. Make sure you have a great, great, great shortcut. Okay. Let's do some examples of this. So um, down here, I've got 7 raised to the 4th raised to the 3rd. So what am I going to do? 4 times 3, 12. Fantastic. How about over here, x to the 5th squared? So you multiply them again. 5 times 2 is 10. That's really x to the 10th. And here, what happens when you square? I'm squaring everything in here. So when I go x to the 6th, that's not a problem to see. x to the 6th squared, I multiply times 12. But what about this? This is actually still negative 10 squared. So I took care of that. you got to square everything, though. What is negative 10 squared? Be very careful in your calculator. If you're going to type this in, you got to have parentheses around that negative 10, because what is a negative times a negative? It is always positive. So that is actually 100, and then we know that's x to the 12. So negative 10 times negative 10 is positive. So if it's an even power, it's always a positive number, because it's going to get rid of those negatives. Cool. So again, same idea. Everything in here gets squared. So I'm going to have 1 third squared. I'm going to have x to the 1. That's the 1 times it by 2. y to the third squared is y to the sixth. Very good. So I've got that going on. What is 1 third squared? It's like saying 1 third times 1 third. Well, what is 1 third times 1 third? That's 1 ninth. And then I've got x squared y to the sixth. There's my final answer like that. Fantastic. All right, moving on. Quotient rule. I didn't put a bodybuilder in there. Bummer. All right. Quotient rule. So that means division. So I used to say, write these out. 2 to the 5th, you know, write them out. That's 2 to the 5th over 2 cubed. What happens here? Well, what was nice about division is they cancel. You line them up. Boom, boom. He cancels him. And you're left with 2 times 2 is 4. But really, what are you left with? You're left with 2 squared. Is there a rule here with the exponents? Sure. I can say 5 minus 3 is going to give it to me. So quotient rule says when you have that same base, again, it's only because they both have the base of 2, you divide exponents same base, you subtract the exponents. So jot that down, have it, pause it if you need to. All right, let's do some examples of this. So when I'm doing this, what is the base? Is it the same? Sure, the base is 2, so I'm cool. I'm good to go. 2 to the 11th divided by this, subtract them. 11 minus 6 is 5. Same base, my base is negative 4. 
That means I'm good to go. This is going to be negative 4 to the what power? 7 minus 4 is 3. And again, they both have a base of x, so I'm allowed to do this. They're going to cancel each other out. I'm going to be left with x squared. 5 minus 3 is x squared. Very cool. Do 3 and 12 have the same base? No, they don't. So they're just a fraction. So we just got to reduce them. You know, 3 goes into itself once. 3 goes into 12 four times. So 3 twelfths is the same as 1 fourth. So there's no subtracting or rules or weirdness here. It's just a fraction. Reduce it if you can. Not all times they reduce, but if you can, reduce them. And then I've got y to the what power? They are the same base. They are y. So 11 uh, minus 5 gives me 6. Fantastic. Look at this monster right here. I love it. Again, they're not the same base. 6 and 2 are not the same base. So 2 goes into itself once. It goes into it 3 times. So it's 3 over 1, which is just 3. And then go through x to the what power? Well, 9 minus, remember there's a 1 if it's not written. 9 minus 1 is 8. Uh, 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. You can put the 1 there or not. It's, uh, it's up to you. Very good. Excellent. Let's keep this flowing. More special case coins. I just want to make sure that you know that the, it's always to everything in there. So this is really, you know, 2 times 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. So I know you've been expanding, but it's the same as 2 to the third over 3 to the third. You can cube everything on top, cube everything on bottom. It's got to go to both of them. So again, this is the same thing. This is x cubed over y cubed, or expand it out if you want, but it's getting everybody. So when you do something like this, you know, everybody's getting cubed. So even everything on top is getting cubed. So some people like to think, oh yeah, that's 2 to the first power. 2 to the first cubed is 2 cubed, x cubed on top, and then what's on bottom, it gets cubed as well. So we just learned a power to a power. 2 to the third is times and you get 6. So everybody in these parentheses is getting cubed on those, so I just want to make sure you got them all there. Um, I think we got a little wisdom here. Oh, we had Kelly Fuchsius last time. Now we got Solicrates, just like Socrates. He says Gimdos is awesome. Remember back, and it's actually section 1-1, one, one, and it was the very first one. Gimdos. You remember we've got these, uh, look at grouping symbols first, exponents. This is multiply, divide, and this is add, subtract. It is awesome, Mr. Sullivan. You're exactly right. And it comes into what we're doing. When we do this, we need to do gimdos. This is a huge shortcut. Basically, we've got three rules, and you're probably like, well, how do I keep them all straight? I've got the product rule. I've got the power rule. I've got the quotient rule. Well, here's how we're going to do them. Think about power rule, and let's do it with a uh, power rule. So when I have, like, a power to a power, 2 to the 3rd to the 4th, my power rule says this, exponent. I've got an exponent to an exponent. If you look at this, what is the rule here? If I circle this, if I have an exponent, I'm going to multiply. It tells me, Gimdos tells me what to do. Oh yeah, I know that's 2 to the 12th. How about this? What if I multiply 4 cubed times 4 to the 5th? Oh, I don't remember the rule. I know they have the same base of 4. What do I do? Check this out. Gimdos tells me. When I multiply, what do I do? I'm going to add them. So that's 4 to the 8th. Super cool. So there's power rule. There's product rule. What about, does it work for a division rule? 4 to the 9th over 4 to the 5th? Sure. What's the rule here? Oh, I have a hard time remembering that rule, but check it out. Gimdos tells me. What am I doing? I'm doing division. What happens when you divide? Oh, I meant to have that different color. Bummer. You subtract. So this is really 4 to the 4th. So Gimdos is awesome. It tells me what to do. So this, remember this. This is great. A friend of mine, uh, Ms. Kless, showed this to Mr. Sullivan, who showed it to me. Awesome. Very cool trick. Thanks, Ms. Kless. Appreciate it. Next one. Um, Gimdos it up. So here are the rules. I don't remember. But what am I doing here? And there he is again. It is awesome. Thanks. I'm multiplying. What does multiply mean? Multiply means add the exponents. So if they have the same base, add them together. That's y to the 10th. And then I'm going to say 5 times 6 is 30. Super. How about the next one? Kim Doss, again, is awesome. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. I've got a grouping symbol with an exponent. So if you want to circle the thing, you can. You've got a grouping symbol with an exponent. So what do I do? I multiply. So really, you know, it's going to be y to the 12th, x to the 20th, 5 times 4 is 20, 3 times 4 is 12. What happens here? Remember, this is like a power of 1. So this is really 4 to the 4th power. If you want to expand that out, you can't use it. 4 times 4 is 6. So 4 to the 4th power, if you want to multiply it out, you can say it's 256, 256, x to the 20, y to the 12. Either way, it's cool. Except either one of those answers, you're good to go. Love the Gimdos. Ah, there it is. Humorous repetition. Gimdos is awesome. I've got division, so what's the rule? When I divide, I'm going to subtract. Now again, start with this 
fraction, I'm just reducing it. They're not the same base. Does 5 7 reduce? No, 5 doesn't go to 7, so I'm going to leave it alone. 5 7 But A, I'm going to go ahead and do subtract. Like it says, 8 minus 5 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Super. One more page. Let's bring the pain. Here we go. Oh, I got GIMDOS because we're going to have to keep referencing it. Where do I start? Just start with GIMDOS. Start with grouping symbols. Do I have grouping symbols? If I do, do they have an exponent? If I do, I need to multiply them. So I do have a grouping symbol, and it is to an exponent, so I must raise it. So this is really going to be, remember, this is like a 1, to the 1 to the 3rd, 2 to the 3rd. A to the what? 3 times 3 is 9, because I know I'm multiplying. B to the 4 to the 3rd is B to the 12th. Then I'm going to multiply that bad boy by what? 4AB to the 5. Uh, super. So let's go ahead and multiply. What is 2 to the 3rd? 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm looking at 8. A to the 9th, B to the 12th, times, you can do parentheses or dot, 4AB to the 5th. So what does the top really give me here? Let's say what's going on on top here. I'm going to do numbers. You know, they're not the same base. So 8 times 4 is going to be 32. Oh, how do I know what I'm doing when I multiply? When I multiply, I'm adding. So A to the 9th, A and A, so that's really like A to the 1. I'm going to say A to the 9th plus 1 is A to the 10. And B and B, B to the 12th plus b to the 5th, b to the 17th. So that's on top of your fraction, 32, a to the 10, b to the 17th. That's all over the bottom. Just bring it on over. Nothing going on down there. So what do I do when I divide? Divide says I subtract, so let's divide them. Does this reduce? Sure, 32 goes into it once, goes into that twice, so that's really just a half. What is a to the power of? Well, I subtract them, because it tells me to subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5. Subtract your Bs, you get 14. So great little rule on that GIMDOS. Remember that, have that, and you'll be fine. Nice little trick. Got another uh, math fail on uh, uh, game shows here. I hope you enjoy. Good luck on the mastery check. Peace out. Naomi, in mathematics, the fraction 3 fifths can be expressed as what percentage? One half. No, 60%. Pass. Amazons, Kerry, in math, what is 51 minus 8? Pass. 43. Naomi, in mathematics, the fraction three-fifths can be expressed as what percentage? One-half. No, 60%. Pass. Amazons, Kerry, in math, what is 51 minus 8? Pass. 43.